Hey yo everyone, this is a happy anime cafe manager here with another walkthrough episode for the game Pokemon Moon. Alright, the Resolute Cave is inside the Pony Plains. I mean, it's with. I mean the Pony Grove. Already? That would have been a serious waste of time. Yeah, keep in mind, Petty Lil Lil's only appearing in Moon version for Gen 7. But Connie's uh, appear, appear in Moon. Parent's son. Anyway, this isn't who I'm supposed to be fighting. But Jesus Christ, there's just a lot of level 50 Pokemon out here. That was prob probably a roleplay re response I got on Discord.
minute. <coughs> Yeah, I really gotta put some socks on. Yeah, I uh, don't like to be barefoot feet all often. But what is it with dudes these days showing their toes? Okay, Umbreon's in the level. Oh, perfect. <coughs> Good Lord appeared. Ghost Lord just happens to have weird stats. It kind of suits, suits the the stats. Kind of suit the well, weird way good Ghost Lord looks compared to other Pokemon. But holy shit, level 70. But yeah, they have very high HP. How many times could uh, Thrash last? Oh, that was a close one. Critical capture, yes! What?! You broke free after a critical capture? But let's at least see what happens if I fail the mission. He lost sight of it, but the hint of it is still lingering. But still, I don't tr trust the game in this manner. <clears throat> 
So yeah, you really were supposed to capture it. The Lord. Yeah, Ghost Lord is both a dra dragon and dark type Pokemon. <clears throat> that is one huge Pokemon. Try reducing this guy's attack po points. There goes its boosted power. Oof. Yeah, I gotta save my beast balls. Guzzlord Sal will be added to the Pokedex as usual. The Junk of War Pokemon. He's over 18 feet. It weighs almost 2,000 pounds. A dangerous ultra beast. It appears to be eating constantly, but for some reason its droppings have never been found. In other words, this this Pokemon cannot take a shit. You think they went to another dimension or something? Oh God. The dro whatever he eats in his shit could have ended up in our world. And there are a lot of shitty people out there. Alright, Adamant. Yes.
All right, now that the mission's done, gotta report to Looker. Amazing, Bravo, but you have done. I must call the chief back at once. I finished sending the data to from the Ultra Beast. You pro protected that to HQ and, the, and to Miss Wick as well. And thank you for your hard work, you know. Now we will be able to learn all there is to know about Guzzlord, otherwise known as Ultra Beast Glutton. We've done it, Chief. Yes, we have successfully contained all the Ultra Beasts. Thank you so much for all your hard work on these missions, Yuna. And Mr. Looker. Not at all. All I did was provide backup to the two of you. It was all you and Yuna, Chief. And now that we've uh, finally completed our mission, I will treat us all to a feast of... One moment, please. But what is it, Chief? We have finally reached it, our grand finale, which we should end with a big feast. Our truly final mission requires that we go to Ether Paradise and report to Miss Wick that we have contained all of the Ultra Beasts. Oh, indeed, you are right. And we must thank her for the Pokeballs, known as Beast Balls. We will be going to Ether Paradise to report to Miss Wick about our success. If you are free, why don't you come along as well, Yuna? We make for a further secret that lives in the lower floor of Ether Paradise. Why don't you join us, Yuna? We have been waiting for you, Yuna. Yuna, thank you for coming. I'd like to thank you first of all for all your hard work for containing the Ultra Beast. On behalf of the entire Foundation, I would like to offer you our most sincere thanks. With this, all the Ultra Beasts that appeared from the Ultra Wormhole which opened in the earlier incident have been caught. Oh no, we're we're the ones who should be thanking you, I think. We could not have done it without the use of the beast balls that you provided for us. They are negative assets of the foundation. I am happy to see them put to good some good use. I hardly know how I could th thank the two of you. The three of us. Don't forget Looker. Yes, Mr. Looker also did a great deal to help us with the with this mission. But I thought he left before us. What is he? What's taking him so long to get here? I know I told him that, that we would meet here. Could something have happened? Dianda! 
Well, really, Mr. Looker, even after all this time... I'm sorry, I know it's a terrible habit, but I can't help it. And more importantly, it's a disaster. I would imagine it must be. What happened that made you so late? I was on my way here, here when I stopped by Melee Mail Island to get some of their famous and delicious mollusks as a gift for you all. But just when I finished my purchase, I had a chance to look up at the sky and there... There it was. A mysterious black something was zipping across the bright blue sky over Alola. It was black and yet it was sh shining somehow. It was it was like, like a refracting light. It might have been an Ultra Beast. No, I'm certain of it. It surely was an Ultra Beast. But it couldn't be. We haven't had any word from HQ about, I mean, headquarters about there being more Ultra Beasts. Well, thanks for watching. Until next time, to be continued, baby.